Okay, so get this. Today we're going to do a deep dive into the recent reunion of Simon and Garfunkel. Oh, wow. And like their music, right? I mean, the Sound of Silence, Mrs. Robinson. That's classics. Absolute classics. And uh, Bridge Over Troubled Water. Oh, yeah. I mean, th their music, it's like, it's basically woven into the fabric of our culture. Totally. But um, what's really fascinating to me is like their personal dynamic, right? It was like so turbulent. It was like up and down, up and down. It really contrasts with that uh, that beautiful harmony in their music. Well, yeah. I mean, you think about it from when they were teenagers, just harmonizing on street corners to global icons. Yeah. That's a crazy journey. It's a wild ride. It is. And it's full of twists and turns, you yeah. know, like they shot to fame in the 60s, right? Capturing right. that uh, spirit of change and self-discovery. But even when they were super successful, like at the peak of their success, there was like the simmering tension underneath. And... You know, those creative differences and personal clashes, they're almost as legendary as their music. And that's what, you know, that's what led to their breakup in 1970. Right after Bridge Over Troubled Water. Right after Bridge Over Troubled Water, their masterpiece. A masterpiece, yeah. And what followed was just like decades of public jabs, bitter comments, unresolved issues. Garfunkel even called Simon a monster in an interview back in 2015. Ouch. Yeah. That's got to hurt. Yeah. So it's like they have this, uh, you know, this musical yin and yang thing going on. Beautiful, soul-stirring harmonies on stage. Mm -hmm. But behind the scenes. Yeah. Headbutting. Totally. But, but then, decades after this crazy split, something completely unexpected happens. Garfunkel invites Simon to lunch. And you'd think after all that bad blood, they wouldn't even be on speaking terms. But Garfunkel actually talked about this lunch in the Sunday Times. And it was more than just catching up. It was a turning point. He asked Simon, what happened? Why haven't we seen each other? Wow. So that simple lunch, it really became this catalyst for something so much deeper. A reckoning with decades, decades of unspoken hurt. And Simon, when Garfunkel asked that question... He opened up about how much pain he'd carried all those years, how much those criticisms had affected him. Yeah. Imagine just the weight of all those unspoken words finally being released. Yeah. And Garfunkel, in that moment, he acknowledged his part in their problems, and he actually admitted to being a fool. And this wasn't about saving a musical partnership, really. It was about two people confronting all those emotions that had kept them apart for so long. And what strikes me is that this wasn't some big publicity stunt. It wasn't about, you know, getting back together for a tour or anything like that. It was a real genuine human moment, a desire to just figure out, like, what went wrong. Yeah. And that lunch seems to have opened a door to a whole new chapter in their relationship. Mm -hmm. I've heard some whispers about potential collaborations, maybe even a performance or a charity event. Yeah. Garfunkel's son, Art Jr., even hinted at it. Imagine those two sharing the stage again after all these years. It's, I mean, the prospect of them working together again, it's super exciting. Fans are going crazy. Music critics are buzzing about it. Mm. But honestly, beyond the music, this reunion shows us just how powerful forgiveness and second chances can be. It makes you think, can creative partnerships really heal after being so broken? Mm. Yeah. And can they recapture that, uh, that magic they had? Right. It also makes you think about their legacy, you know? Will this reconciliation change the way we see their past work? Yeah. Will it bring in a whole new generation of fans to their music? It's really interesting to think about. So where do they go from here? Will they create new music together? Yeah. Music that captures that old magic? Mm -hmm. Will this reconciliation lead to people reevaluating their past? Mm. This reunion, it just leaves us with so many questions. Questions about creativity, about relationships, about the power of music. Absolutely. It really shows how sometimes the most beautiful things can come from the most difficult situation. It really does. So what do you think? Can Simon and Garfunkel recapture that magic? What does the future hold for these two musical icons? Yeah, it's definitely a story worth following. It is. 